Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong. Hello everyone and welcome back to another World of Tanks console video. My name is Zinozach and today we'll be looking at the Tier 7 German Premium Tank Destroyer, the E25. So the E25 is this very hybrid-like tank of a tank destroyer and light tank into one and that is due to its light armored nature. Of course, with the Halloween uh, garage in place, we're looking in the direction of the tombstones. And that is simply because when this tank starts firing, you will see tanks die left and right. So that is actually very accurate. The highlight of this tank will be, of course, the 75 centimeter or millimeter tank gun that it gets with a base DPM of 20 rounds a minute. Penetration being 150 on the standard AP rounds. 194 on the APCR and 38 on the HE rounds. Damage, of course, for the standard and AP rounds is 135 round, uh, 135 per shot, as well as the HE round being 175 per shot. If it penetrates, of course, please understand that it that is if it can penetrate its um, its opponents. Aim time being 1.5 and accuracy at 0.3 these are all base stats of the tank keep that in mind when you are viewing this so we can look into the forgot to mention this the tier 7 turrets of course it doesn't have a turret the tier 6 gun that it has the 7.5 70 centimeter pack 42 l70 the tier 8 engine, the Maybach HL230, TRM E30, the tier 7 tracks, the E25 variant, and the tier 6 radio, the FUG 7 OSF. -F. Let's look at the ammo cost of what each round will probably be running 109 silver uh, on the standard AP rounds. 2,800 silver if you decide to convert it to silver on the APCR or around 7 gold, 98 on the HE rounds, and again just be careful, HE rounds only counts for full damage if it can actually penetrate. And you can of course see the, uh, the average of course was talked about before, but those are the low point and high point of the damage as well as the 101 to 169 on both AP and APCR rounds and 131 to 219 on the HE rounds as well as the penetration uh, on the AP rounds varied between 113 to 188 or on the APCRs 146 to 243 and the HE being 29 to 48 millimeters. Of course you can check out my loadout on this. I go with the relatively cheap consumables that only cost 3,000 silver, all small repair kits, med kits, and fire extinguishers. You can maximize your DPM on this tank by simply loading on the vents, gun rammer, and chocolate. However, I don't recommend it for the most part as the reload time being 3 seconds uh, on the base tank will pretty much have you going through those rounds pretty fast and you'll end up going through the expending your ammo on tanks either bouncing or in your case you'd probably hope for penetrations. Uh, the maximum ammunition that you can have on this tank is 60 rounds. To keep that in mind when you're deciding your loadout uh, as for my my personal equipment that I decided to go to, I went with the vents, coated optics, and binocular telescope to maximize view range, of course. Keeping this tank at a distance is probably one of the best strengths that you can have on it. Its camo factor when stationary is pretty high, as we'll get into when we hit on the detail section. So the E25, we can check into the firepower on the right. Being 28 with the standard shell penetration being 148 and near penetration being 127. Oh, sorry, that was 
standard shell damage. Apologies. Reload time of base reload is 3 seconds, so keep that in mind. That That is relatively low as is, and as far as trade-offs with this tier 7 tank goes, you will be able to put in at least one round for every two, or two rounds for every one that an enemy can fire. And your apologies for that one, that was a little bit of a mix-up there. Our survivability being 20, armor depth of course being 20 to 88 millimeters, one of the low points of this tank is that its armor is relatively low. You can check that for the most part, one to 20 millimeters on the entirety of the tank, the gun right around the uh, mantlet of the gun has that little ring that is about 71 to 90 millimeters, 31 to 50 on the front of the tank, but for the most part, 90 to 98% of all tier, <laughs> tier sevens and eights will pretty much penetrate you regardless. So you might want to be aware of those HE rounds coming in your direction. So because it's slightly armored, the hit points are around 830. So keep that in mind that it's not it's not the worst. It's not the best, of course. So you have to be wary of the amount of hit points that you're going to do when you do a trade-off against anyone. I don't recommend it. Keep this tank at a distance to be able to pick them off. Mobility being 57, pretty good stat, with a max speed of 65 kilometers forward, and that is due to its engine power being 700 horsepower. So we'll get into the side stat over there on the engine when we start scrolling through the individual stats. Concealment is a 74, which is relatively high compared to most tank destroyers uh, of tier 7, with a .44 when stationary and 0.26 when moving. And keep in mind that the low profile of this tank, again, very small, you'll be able to dip into ridges very quickly and out of sight as long as you take advantage of the terrain. Spotting is at 67 with a base view range of, of 360 as well as a base signal range or radio range if you want to call it, 710. These do get affected by um, signal boosting, vents, and chocolate, so keep that in mind when you are selecting your loadouts. So going through the different modules, we have the engine, the Maybach HL230 TRM P30. The horsepower, of course, just discussed, 700 horsepower, with this tank having a power to ton ratio, uh, horsepower to ton, of 26.62, the top forward speed being 65 kilometers, and the top reverse speed being 20 kilometers. And fire percent chance, which is what normally everyone looks for if they decide to take a fire extinguisher or the premium consumable, is only 20% chance. Most people will choose, probably choose chocolate on the simple fact that with the amount of hit points that this tank has, it's probably better to just load out the chocolate and Pray that no one hits you and sets you on fire. And with the 20% being relatively low for this tank destroyer, you can take advantage of that premium consumable this time around. So the 7.5 centimeter pack 42L70 with a reload time, base reload time of 3 seconds, aiming time of 1.5 and accuracy at 100 meters of 0.3 meters, 0.30 meters. Uh, you can take advantage of this gun to the maximum potential for mid to long ranges. Max gun elevation is 15 degrees and max gun depression is 8 degrees. Not really a ridgeline warrior here, lightly armored. Please keep your tank at mid to long range and you'll be able to take advantage of this 7.5 centimeter gun to its fullest. And the reason that the uh, thumbnail of this this tank is the code name Woodpecker is because if you decide to maximize the DPM on this with Brothers in Arms vents uh, as well as the gun rammer and chocolate you will be able to put out around probably around if I remember this right 2.4 rounds a second which is faster than any other tier 7 tank pretty much whittling down health of around or maximizing your DPM of around 3,300 rounds a minute, which is very good for a tier 7 tank, 
especially this being a lightly armored tank destroyer, if you can penetrate every round, you'll be pretty much whittling out about half the enemy team, uh, probably within two to three minutes if you penetrate every round again. So the E25 tracks has, it gives it a rotation speed of 44 degrees a second, along with terrain resistances of 1.2 on hard, 1.3 on medium, 2.3 on soft. Keep that in mind when you're trying to turn the tank. It's not going to turn fast, but it's not that slow. So you might want to be able to take advantage of those, uh, those slow, heavy tanks quite often due to the low profile that they will not be able to get a shot on you if you are literally right beside them. I've seen a lot of E25 replays like that, where you can pull up beside someone, low profile, they can't hit you as long as you stick right next to them. The signal range of the FUG7 OSF is 710. Again, this does get affected by um, Brothers in Arms, Chocolate, and the fence ammunition we've already talked about the damage and penetration but let's talk about the velocity of the shell on the standard ap rounds 925 meters a second and 1156 meters a second on the apcr round so that might help you slam into those long distance light tanks that are always buzzing around on the mid mid uh, terrain fields keep that in mind if you want to be able to pick them off a lot faster However, they're better off for picking uh, more heavier tiered tanks or heavy armored tanks if you decide to shoot them at long range, which is the recommended positions. So I don't have a crew for this tank. I normally use it as a uh, high tier crew trainer because I just like zipping around the field and having fun. But keep that in mind that this tank has one driver, one loader, the commander, and I believe a radio operator. I want to say it's a radio operator. I don't remember. But we on console have just the single commander uh, as our crew representation, so not really that much of a change. But you can, if someone aims right, they can pretty much go through uh, killing uh, most of your crewmates members in one go if they have a high penetrating shell like an APCR and they aim right there on that viewport. Keep that in mind. And as well as the positioning of the ammo racks being on the low end of the engine, try to hide that right below the gun onto the uh, left side as well as over here on the top right if you get shot from the right hand side. Those are where your ammo rack positions are, or as well as for where your enemies will probably be aiming for if they have knowledge of this tank. The engine placement, of course, is in the back. Someone shoots right along the top part of there. They'll be able to go right through it. And as well as the radio being over here on that position, they'll pretty much... These are just uh, module, spe or module specs as to where someone wants to damage it they can shoot and penetrate and cause that to go out so one of the things that the that the uh, in-game details does not include is the premium bonuses that each premium tank gets for the silver bonus you have 30 percent and for the XP bonus you have 20 percent so it's not really all that great but tier sevens not supposed to be your credit makers though that right goes to the tier 8 as well as it's not supposed to be your xp grinder those would be your tier 5s tier 3s especially your tier 3s um and a few tier 6s but it is that it is that good uh play style or good tank to have a fun fun day and if you just decide you want to go and pick on some enemies or if you want to troll some some enemies at that point with this very low profile. I do have a gameplay of this tank already on my channel. I will try to leave an info card up in the top right hand corner as well as down below in the description if you feel free to uh, check that out if you have some time. But that's all I have to cover on the tank. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
you did, please leave leave a like down in the uh, down below, or subscribe for more on these overviews. I'll probably try to get some out. Um, I do have a few other videos to work on for the day, but again, they're just something to look forward to. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. Have a good day.